I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. I'm at NYSE West here in San Francisco, and I'm joined by Charlie Nelson. He is the Chief Operating Officer at Semvita. Charlie, wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, thank you for having me. This is great. Great. Now, before we get started, just a quick note to our viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Charlie, tell me, why is it so important to you to save the planet? Well, I mean, frankly, we only have one planet right now. And so, uh, you know, we better take care of it. And, um, you know, if we don't, then bad things happen. So, um, so that is why, yeah. Okay, yeah. so now talk to me about Samvita and your mission. So Samvita is a industrial biotech company. And essentially what we do, uh, we're a team of people from industries, like heavy industries, a uh, bunch of PhDs, a bunch of engineers that collaborate to essentially solve different problems in the heavy industry using industrial biology. Um, so in general, uh, we're very um, cost focused, but also um, very much like carbon intensity and environmental focused. Um, and our belief is that you don't have to sacrifice your economics while also trying to be uh, environmentally conscious. And so that is the core of our business. All right, and how are you different from others that are in this space? Well, you know, in general, a lot of uh, biotech companies, which primarily, you know, historically biotech has been um, something that has used either like yeast or E. coli in the pharmaceutical industry to manufacture specific products. Uh, and, you know, that's there's pretty standard kits for that type of stuff, but there's troubles and challenges with that, especially when you try to put them into heavy industry environments like a mine or a refinery or things like that. And so we kind of took a very different approach in what we use and the biology that we use, starting with microbes that are capable of living in very different environments than yeast and E. coli, which require, you know, very controlled conditions, you know, stainless steel reactors, um, size limited, et cetera. And so by starting with a completely set of what we call non-model microbes um, and becoming experts in developing the kits to do things like modify the DNA of these microbes, which no one else has done, and uh, be able to understand their evolutionary cycles and what they're capable of. And, uh, and so that is really our difference is that like, you know, not only do we understand biology to a like DNA strand level, we also understand the environments in which our technology is going to be deployed and what makes it work, what makes it doesn't, what, and ultimately that translates into what makes it economical to have these different operations in place. And so that's a big differentiator because you know we're inventing new science along the way as we're doing this. And, uh, and so it's, it's been fascinating to see how these microbes that you know we're talking about, we have a team, I love this, we have a team that we call our Indiana Jones team. And they go out and they literally sample like soils and waters all around the globe and we categorize these microbes and figure out what they're capable of. And so it's a real differentiating factor because we have a completely different starting point than most biotech. Mm -hmm. All right, now as you look to the year ahead, what are you most focused on? Uh, commercialization and profitability. That's what it comes down to for us. We're, uh, so at our parent company, we develop these techs. Uh, these technologies, and then we bring them through pilot, kind of foster this along. And once they're ready for commercialization, we spin them out into subsidiary companies that are then allowed to grow on their own. And we've successfully done that now three times. And so we have three different technologies that are all commercializing on their own cycles. Uh, and so, you know, this year is a huge, huge year for us because we're gonna have our, you know, basically first commercial production of hydrogen uh, this year. We are going to be, um, hopefully by the end of year, going uh, final investment decision on our first large scale CO2 conversion plant. Um, our, our mining business is doing real testing on these, um, on actual ores from, you know, some of the largest copper miners and lithium miners um, on the planet. And so, uh, you know, this year is a huge growth year for us and um, it's gonna serve as the fundamental basis for our profitability in the future. So. Wow, big year, for sure. So now tell me, you are attending the Carbon Conference that's taking place here in San Francisco. What are your takeaways from the event so far? Uh, honestly, it's one of the best run conferences I've ever been a part of. Um, it's kind of funny, like uh, each of these companies, we get our like hotel room that they 
rip the beds out of and put a conference table in. And it's like, uh, it's basically speed dating for investors. But, um, you know, like today, 18 meetings today, just back to back to back to back. And the hyper efficiency of this conference is like something I've never seen in other conferences. Uh, you And it's attended by the right people, the right decision makers, um, the people that matter. And so it's honestly all the people that matter and none of the people that really don't for the purpose of this conference. So very well run. Okay. All right. Well, Charlie, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you.